Hi everyone, my name is Ken Parker of Hillock Kennels. I wanted to put this video series together uh, just with some information out there. I've seen a lot of videos online, some good, not so good, about uh, training a tracking dog for recovering wounded game. Yeah, I'm not going to put this series out there and say this is the only way to do it. I'm just putting this out there so that others may use the information that I've gained over many years of doing this uh, to train their dogs. Uh, it's worked for me, uh, it can work for you, but again, this is not the only way. Uh, there's many uh, individuals out there that, that do a good job of training a tracking dog. Uh, I've just seen a lot of videos that uh, were poorly put together or had uh, incorrect information. I thought maybe putting something out there uh, that showed from the beginning to the end process. Uh, this is not gonna be something easy, uh, it's gonna take uh, probably a good year, year and a half uh, to show you all the different steps and the progression uh, to get a good tracking dog. Uh, it's going to take uh, 18 months, two years uh, to get enough experience on the dog, to have enough time behind the dog for you to know how to read your dog. Again, don't take this as uh, I'm telling you this is the only way. Uh, I want you to be, I want to be up front with you. This works for me. This has worked for others that I've, I've trained. Uh, it, it works. Uh, what we're going to use is uh, Cooper. Uh, is my new BGS. Uh, he's a replacement uh, for my old uh, BGS that passed away in April. Uh, Cooper is uh, 10 weeks old this weekend, and he's already had one introduction to blood. And uh, I just wanted to start out from the beginning. So what you're going to see uh, over the next uh, several videos is uh, his progression from a 10 week old puppy to what I recall uh, call as a reliable dog. In this first video, uh, we're gonna introduce Cooper to blood. Uh, he's had one exposure at nine weeks. And at this process, all I'm looking for is the dog to see how they use their nose. I want them to search out, I want them to uh, using their nose to search out the food. And what I've done is I've soaked the kibble in blood. And then I'm going to scatter it out, wait about 10-15 minutes, and turn the dog loose on it. All I'm wanting the dog to do is start associating the blood with the kibble. Uh, there's a food source, and here's the smell. If I find the smell, I find food. So it's a positive exposure. And that's what you want. At this point in a puppy's life, is you want something positive. And for me, this has always worked uh, to start a puppy off on introduction to blood. So here we just have some kibble in blood, soaked in blood, and we're going to scatter it out. 